Hi, Tom here. In this week's Circle Line Art School video, I'll show you one way to draw an alleyway using one point perspective. Start by drawing a horizontal line across your page and then a vanishing point in the center of the horizon line. Next, we can draw a long, thin rectangle, which will be the riser of the first step for the steps that we're going to draw using one point perspective and place this rectangle halfway between the horizon line and the baseline of the paper that you're using. Then using the vanishing point, we can draw a line from the bottom right corner of the rectangle coming towards us. And then we can repeat that on the left hand side from the bottom left of the rectangle, again a line coming towards us using the vanishing point as a guide. Next, we can use the vanishing point again to draw a short line going towards the vanishing point on the right, and then another short line going towards the vanishing point on the left. So parallel lines that are receding all go towards the vanishing point. But then we can draw a horizontal line, because that's not receding, and that will make our first step. We can repeat the process now by drawing two vertical lines for the riser of the step and then joining them with a horizontal line, and then using our vanishing point, which is in the center of the drawing, to find the two receding lines, and then connect them with a horizontal line. So now we've got our second step. And again, we could repeat this several times. Each time, the steps, as they're getting further away from us, the vertical line of each step needs to be a little bit shorter because things are getting smaller as they're going towards the vanishing point. And all of the receding lines need to go towards the vanishing point and the horizontal lines stay horizontal. Once you've finished the steps, we could draw a vertical line from the top right of the back step and the top left of the back step to make a doorway and then just top it off with a horizontal line at the top. I think I'll divide this doorway up into a smaller door, keeping the horizontal lines horizontal. And then above the door, I might make another shape for a fan light, a sort of window which is above a door. Then we can give a thickness to this door frame by drawing four short lines going towards the vanishing point from the corners of the door frame. Next, we can draw two vertical lines either side of the doorway and then a horizontal line at the top. And this will give a thickness to the door frame. And then with the window light, we can add the thickness at the top by doubling up the top line too. We can make the horizon line look darker where it is visible through the door frame. And then either side of the door frame going up, we can draw a vertical line, one on the right and one on the left, to make this into a alleyway. Next, I think I'll add a small rectangular window above the door frame. Now this window is above the horizon line, so we're looking up upon it and therefore we can give it a thickness. We'll be seeing the left and right side of the window and the top. So to do that, we need a receding line from the top right and top left of the window going towards the vanishing point, two vertical lines either side, and then a horizontal line at the top. Next, we can erase the horizon line either side of the doorway. And now we've got a drawing of a basic alleyway in one point perspective where all of the receding lines go towards the vanishing point and all of the vertical lines stay vertical and all of the horizontal lines stay horizontal. If you'd like to learn more about how to draw buildings using perspective, please visit my website, circlelineartschool.com, where you'll find information on my online drawing courses. On the right-hand side of the alleyway, we can use the vanishing point to draw lines 
which are receding to the vanishing point, but then coming towards us and getting wider as they come towards us. And then by drawing a few vertical lines as well, we can create a rectangle on the left hand side, which is in one point perspective. And this we can make into a window by drawing two horizontal lines at the corners going left, and then a vertical line to join it up to give the thickness of the window and then using the vanishing point to draw the top and base line of the thickness of the window. So now we have a window in one point perspective on the left hand side. We could repeat this by drawing another vertical line on the left and then two short horizontal lines just as we did for the first window. And now we need to work out how long those horizontal lines are. So we can read along the receding line that goes towards the vanishing point for the top and the base of the window. And where the receding line meets the horizontal line, then about there is where we draw a vertical line for the thickness of the new window, which is in the foreground of this drawing. So now we have two windows and one point perspective on the left. Next I'll extend these two receding lines to the vanishing point a bit. And now it seems that we could put two more windows in. Again receding to the single vanishing point in this drawing in one point perspective. And using exactly the same technique as the closer to windows, but these ones are just further away. So now we have four windows on the right. We can draw some detailing. So because the wall on the right of this alleyway is in quite dramatic perspective, the lines are going to be converging onto the vanishing point in quite a dramatic way, particularly as they go towards the top of the drawing. On the right we could draw a receding line as an extension to one of the steps and then perhaps a receding line towards the top of the door frame as well. Through the door frame I think I'll draw two tree trunks and some simple cypress trees. And then I think I'll add a little bit of tone. For this drawing I'm using a 4B pencil and I want to keep everything quite simple. So I just add a little bit of tonal values using the side of the pencil. I think perhaps these trees need to be quite dark eventually. So I'll give them a mid-tone for now and maybe darken them up a little bit later on. Now I've introduced some tone, I need to work out where else I want to have shadows. So once you've drawn the trees, which are big trees but they're in the distance and they're behind the door frame of the alleyway that we're looking at. Then I think all of the surfaces which are face down could be the darkest tone. So the top thickness of the door will be the darkest tone in the shadows. And then either side I'll draw a mid-tone, maybe slightly darker on the left hand side. For the steps, each of the risers would be darker than the top part of the steps. So we could just block that in again with a mid-tone using the side of the pencil. Next, look at your drawing and think about where else to add some tone. Do it step by step. So the top of the windows, the top thickness of each of the windows could be a dark tone because it's not catching the light and therefore will be in shadow. And then the fan light, which is above the door frame, the thickness of the fan light would be a tonal value too. And then the small rectangular window would have a darker tone at the top of 
thickness and a mid-tone on either side. Next I think it would be interesting to draw a cast shadow which is quite high up so it's an angle going across the central part of the drawing and then stops about here and then we can use the vanishing point for the receding lines of the shadow and then the upright lines of the shadow will be the same as the steps. So each of the receding lines of this shadow, while it's on the base of the alleyway, will use the vanishing point. But when it's on the area above the door, it's not using the vanishing point, it's just an angle that I've chosen. Then there'll be a shadow on the ground below the doorway. And then because this is a cast shadow, it will cast itself on the left hand side, leaving a passage of light in this alleyway on the right. And then moving along, the middle parts of the drawing, we can give a flat tone to the cast shadow on the left, but not where it has the windows or the door frame. So we're starting to get some indication of light and dark in this drawing, which will also help with the spatial sort of sense of depth that we're trying to create. And then on the left hand side, just using the side of the pencil, we could draw a mid-tone around the windows on the wall on the left. Once you've achieved a sort of mid-tone on the left hand wall, then we could use the side of an eraser just to smudge it. And then we could start to add some more details. For my drawing, I'm putting a reflection of the windows into the glass on the left. And then you can just generally populate your drawing with some more details using the basic principles of one point perspective. You might like to place a window on the right hand side too. We use the same technique as we did on the left, using the vanishing point for the receding lines. I hope you find this drawing useful for your own drawings. Please visit circlelineartschool.com to learn more about how to draw from scratch. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.